Hello, this is Sweet Jesus here. I want to give all the praise and all the glory to our Heavenly Father. And um, I want to share with you guys some more on a topic that the Lord is just continues to give me more on. And so I need to share it with as many people and hopefully you can share with others. And um, I'm just in prayer with the people who have already done this. And um, because this is hard saying it, it's, it's, it's easier for someone who has not decided to do this, but for all these people that I didn't expect to go ahead and be doing this at this current time, um, they're going, I don't want to scare them. I don't want to make them angry um, or avoid me. So it's, it's such a very touchy subject, but the Lord is not, um, he continues to give me the dream. So I need to put it out there um, in every way that he wants me to. So I'm going to start off. I had two other dreams. I had two other videos already about this where I was shown. Um, and this was after a lot of prayer time. I was shown two women who um, were holding um, each holding a pool stick. And when they shot it and then God zoomed in on them and they were changing. They had manly features. And then um, I was shown a um, a man who had already received this he um had started having um fem feminine features and then i was shown um the only zombie like um dream i've ever had that i can ever recall is that same person um came up to me and god zoomed in that he was kind of zombie like it was just the weirdest thing but it all was the same thing of God telling me what's, you know, um, what's really going on. So then on March 20th, I get, sorry, I just lost my spot on my notes that I made here. They, okay. So on March 20th, I was standing in front of a little boy and the mother. And I, I had a knowing that he had just had, you know what, and, um, there was a voice, and it wasn't my voice, but it was like that voice in my ear. And telling the mother that the boy is now sterile. He will not be able to have children when he gets older. And um, then I was shown uh, a couple days later a, a vision of a double helix, like your strands of DNA, because we know that this is messing with your DNA, which is against God, in the words of moral. And... Um, then on this morning, I was shown two groups of people, and one group were lesbian women, and the other group were gay men. And then I was shown these small um, boxes, like cages, and I don't know if it was plastic or glass, but I was like really right up close, and they had all these frogs in them, and it was like an they experimental, like they were experimenting on them and it was sad I was I was very sad it was um it was just it was not a, a, a sight that I want to remember that the Lord was showing me and um so what went on in my head um when I woke up after this was experimenting on them as they were making you know what's currently going on now if that if that was it and or if it has to do with the judgment, the um, like in Exodus, the frogs, the plague, the frogs coming because um, the Pharaoh wouldn't let his people go. And um, so maybe you have something else with the frogs and these little tiny compartments they were in. And it was obvious they were being, to me, it was like a knowing um, that something was going on, like experimenting with them or something. But I didn't see anybody else. It was just me staring at it after I saw those two groups. And I've been in prayer a lot about this because I'm surprised that so many people, Christians, have had this. And um, what else is my role to do? So um, God bless everybody. I'm going to be sharing so much more the Lord's given me on another topic. So I will talk to you soon. God bless. Love you. Bye.